It's hard to have this pick up on camera, but there is a decent amount of fish shotting at this scope at close ranges at 1x. Beyond 50 yards or so, it becomes a little bit better, but really close, you notice it. I bought this optic used and it came with the Butler Creek caps included. I decided to take them off for the rest of the video. When I do, keep a close eye at the difference of the field of view through the scope, with and without them. 1x, 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x, 2, 3, 4, 5, Move, move, move. Pew, pew. Pew pew. Even though I set up all these targets myself, it's still pretty hard to make sure you get on target. But, to challenge myself a little bit further, I decided to bump the magnification up to about 2 to 2.5x. Pew pew! Pew pew! That had gotten better than I had expected, so I decided to try it again at 1x, as you'll see right here. It's not as smooth as the first run I did with higher magnification because the iris of the camera was shutting down. What happens if you bump it up to 4x? Pew pew! Pew pew! It's not the fastest. It would definitely be faster if it was actually on a rifle. But what happens if you had to take a more precise shot halfway through? Pew pew! Pew pew! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maximum brightness.
love you. I gotta hand it to SIG. Every time I touch a SIG product, I really enjoy it. There's something that SIG does with their finish, just the overall quality that's really, really good. If you ever had a SIG or own a SIG, you probably know what I'm talking about. This Whiskey 5 1 to 5 by 24 is no exception. Their Romeo 5 is excellent, and their range fragment that I have is also excellent. However, this is pretty expensive. These are around mid 500s or so. It's actually kind of hard to find this model. I, of course, bought this secondhand off of a fellow on Reddit, and I got it for $300 shipped. And for that price, you cannot overlook this. If you were, if you find one of these in the secondhand for under $400, buy it. It's supremely nice for what it is. There are very few quirks about it, and that comes down to, I think, a couple of th couple things. One, it's made in Japan. Two, SIG is really high on their quality control. There's a lot more about this that I like than there is that I dislike. A lot of things about it are things that interest me, like having a really simple reticle. So this is not the full range here. We couldn't get the 300 meter targets, 300 yard targets. So the paper's at 100 yards, the chickens right now are at 200 yards, and then it goes to the turkeys, I believe, at four, and then the ram at 500 meters. I love the reticle on this. Is it the most practical or the most useful if you're trying to have accurate, quick follow-up shots and your dope is dialed in for different hash marks? No. The reticle is a non-issue for me. For you, you might hate it. By all means, go buy another optic. All of the controls on it are excellent. The turrets, the illumination dial, the magnification ring. It's all excellent. The fit and finish, the feel, the weight, it's all perfect. It works. And then you have the glass. Ooh, is the glass nice. But it's not the nicest glass. At 1x, there is a fair amount of fish on. However, if you're looking out and focusing on a target beyond 50 yards, it's really not too bad. Inside 50 yards, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be more noticeable. But you should be using this with both eyes open anyway, no matter what the distance, and that's gonna help. However, once you start cranking this up in the magnification, it starts getting better and better. At 5x the glass on this thing is supreme. It is sharp, it is clear, it is bright. Eye relief is very forgiving. That's all there is to really say about it. I do recommend this. If you could find it used, jump on it. If you find it new, if you're willing to pay the price for it, is it worth it? That's a move only you can make. I think in the mid 500s, it's up against some stiff competition. Primarily, what comes to mind is the Vortex 1 to 6. Those are about the same price, and those have a really good reputation. I really want to get my hands on one of those for review because if it's anything like this, it's going to be a real winner. Kudos to you, Sig. You make an excellent product. Now, is this going to be replacing the Steiner P4X on my go to rifle? The Steiner has a much better 1X, it has a little bit more forgiving glass, it has a, it has a little bit more forgiving eye box. And everything about it for me is perfect. So, no, it is not. However, this is not going anywhere. This is going to be staying on my shelf, in its box, waiting to find a new home. Take that as you may. But I really, really like this. And it is not going anywhere. Thank you very much for watching. See you again next time.